I'll tell you a little bit about my medical background because uh, I do a lot of surgery. I've gotten to the point where I've done so many operations, I can look at your chart ahead of time, kind of know how it's going to go just by whether or not you have any insurance. <laughs> <laughs> You should know your HMO does not need to have more operations. <laughs> no, I'm actually good. I use extra anesthesia every time I do surgery. I figure this way, even if I screw it up, I'm so stoned I don't really care what happens. <laughs> we don't tell you what it's like. It's nerve-wracking. There are times I'll be in the middle of an operation, I'll look down, I'll just realize, you know what? I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> I like to call that exploratory surgery. <laughs> Other times I'm trying to make an incision, I'll be shaking, you know, because Parkinson's has that effect. <laughs> I'll end up making a giant X as soon as I make the first X. I gotta play the whole game of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> so like a lot of doctors, I listen to music to relax during surgery. I'll start off with, uh, I don't know, que sera, sera. <laughs> Depending on what happens, I end up with he's a magic man or stairway to heaven. <laughs> Followed by soul sacrifice and shake the hell off, shake it the hell off. I am actually very excited. I just opened up a new melanoma clinic, which is right down the street from my tanning salon. <laughs> I'm also excited I got written up in the New York Times as one of the top seven doctors in my field last year, which I'm very proud of. And for good reason, when patients not doing that good, I pull the plug so they can't possibly write a paper <laughs> But no survivors. <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually did five operations today. I had a good day. I was two for five. <laughs> and the other three got no insurance, so the hell with them. <laughs> I want to do something with improv. You guys want to do a improv? I like to do the rest of my act the way to a medical exam. You guys be cool with that? <laughs> so, ladies, I'd like you to start taking your clothes off. <laughs> And then I'd like you all leave. <laughs> they had a pretty cool job. I'm at work every day. Women walk in, take their clothes off. I touch their breasts, and then their insurance pays me a lot of money. So <laughs> I do it literally every day. Let's get to set up all the video equipment. <laughs> Some of you women are tight about taking your clothes off for an exam, so I gotta be honest, I try to make you as relaxed as I can, so I like to be naked myself for the exam. <laughs> I figure as long as I'm touching you, feel free to reciprocate. <laughs> you don't want to mention I'm legal problems. <laughs> I gotta go. The fact that you guys, if you want, you guys have been nice. After the show, we'll go to CBS. I'll write drugs up in the whole crowd. <laughs> Thank you. Stay healthy out there.